Creating the data project in Toast is a great way to back up and protect important files. Furthermore, Toast can encrypt files and span data across multiple disks. Let's take a look at how this works. Toast can create quite a few different types of data projects, but the two most common for backups are Mac only and Mac and PC. The difference is that Mac only disks can only be viewed on a Macintosh, whereas Mac and PC can be viewed on both Mac and Windows. Let's choose Mac only, name our disk, and jump to the media browser to find our files. In the Data tab, we can browse our files just like we can in the Finder. Then, when we find them, simply drag and drop into the content area. Another cool feature of the media browser is the Spotlight Search. With it, we can choose where to search, the file type, and type in a keyword. So finding our files is quick and easy. We can also add files directly from audio, video, and photo browsers by dragging and dropping them from the Finder, or by selecting the plus button here. In the content area, organizing our disk is simple. Let's add a folder to this project and drag in these files. In the Options panel, we can choose to avoid splitting files when spanning them across multiple disks. Open the disk window right after mounting. Use compression so the files take up less space, and use encryption to password protect our disk. When we click More, we get additional options for how our disk will appear in the Finder. We can drag and drop a new icon, choose the default view of the Finder window, change the background color, or set a picture to be the background. Just below the content area, we can choose the type of disk we want to burn to, CD, DVD, or Blu-ray media. Let's stick with DVD. Now take a look at the gauge to the left. We can see that our data has been spanned across multiple disks, and the text above tells us how many gigabytes we have on each disk. This is always helpful when creating large backups. Now one handy feature is the ability to burn multiple copies at once, with the help of multiple drives. To do this, we need to click on the Destination drop-down menu and choose Select Multiple Recorders. The gear button brings up a dialog for advanced burning options, but let's leave that alone for now. Let's go ahead and click the Burn button to see what happens next. In this dialog, we can choose which recorders we want to use, the write speed, as well as the number of copies per drive. Let's leave it at 1. The only thing left to do is press Record. In just a short time, our disks are done and our files are safe and sound.